So once again, we're dealing with ghosts. And it seems that every time this happens, I get too caught up dealing with the who, what, when, where, and how, and spend no time dealing with the why. So in the midst of crazy things happening, again, I decided that it's about time to investigate. But before I do, I gotta say, I've got the best fans in the world. You guys leave so many comments, it's crazy. I literally read every single one. And I like literally almost every single one. The only ones I don't like are the not nice ones. So if you have something you'd really like me to read, leave a comment. 100% chance I will. In fact, I'm gonna pin my favorite comment 20 four hours from now. Also, Shout outs, the old and the new subs. Like always, gonna be shouting out 10 new subs, 10 OG subs on the next video. If you want a chance at a shout out, all you gotta do is hit the button. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. So our latest haunted installment starts off with a dog training tool of all things. So I think Penny's a little too old to learn about the bell trick. I'm not even sure where I learned it, but it is absolutely brilliant. Put those on the door. Whenever puppy wants to go out, she rings them. As soon as she does this, I'll demonstrate. Oh, oh, there she goes, there she goes. Okay, wait for it. Oh, finally, she got it. Took your sweet time, didn't you? Good girl, you gotta go outside? We got those bells a few weeks ago and they work like a charm, but as fun and innocent as that all is, those bells started taking on a life of their own a few nights ago. We're no strangers to dealing with paranormal activity, but after all the things that we've documented, never taken the time to figure out why any of this was happening. So, now's the time. Let's do a little research, shall we? For starters, our building's like, I don't know, 10 years old, maybe? So the likelihood of somebody dying in here is possible, but not likely. So what I'm gonna look for is haunted areas within Portland that are semi nearby. I mean, there is a weird old school Catholic church like right across the street, creepy architecture, maybe, but I just need to find answers because at this point, it's just been stuff happening and me reacting to it. I'm gonna dig in here. Okay, we're gonna start pretty simple and just go haunted Portland. Right here, Baghdad Theater, that's fairly close to me. That crystal ballroom, I can see that from my window. Show you. It's right there. Okay, that is by far the closest one. I think the next best course of action, other than maybe go check out the theater, is to search the apartment. Look for anything out of the ordinary. I doubt we'll find something, but you never know. So we live in a two-story apartment, so there's not a whole lot of weird, secret places that things might be hidden. Closets are always a good start. Okay, there's not much potential here. Let's try upstairs. So even apartments have like little cubby holes or something, spaces, storage, anything. So. We're gonna find it. Probably not in the bathroom. Um, closet? Ooh, look at those kicks. N not closet, not this room. All right, moving on. Okay, this looks like a funky place to find something. Ooh. Nothing. All right, let's go into my office. Don't mind the cherry Coke and the mess, but okay. No, nothing. Oh my goodness, that is it. Whoa. There is already like scuffs and fingerprints all over that. I have never once been up there. So that's not a good sign. Oh, I'm gonna break out the ladder and I'm gonna go up there and investigate. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Break out the other camera. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks pretty plain up here. Nothing exciting. Oh, yeah, that's not normal. What? Oh, oh the ladder's the ladder's shaking. Jesus. Okay, let's get out of here. What in the f is this? You hear that? BJ, you gotta go out! 
Oh, hell no! PJ! You okay? Okay, some of you are probably wondering how PJ got locked outside in the first place. I was wondering the same thing. And after digging a little bit deeper into the surveillance footage, I found my answer. Yeah, so ever since I found this stupid thing, whatever it is, uh, those have been pretty much going off nonstop. I, the, the, the two are tied for sure. All right. I don't know, I, I need to research this a little bit, but it does not look good. Oh, another fun note. It's literally making the hairs on my arm stick up. I'm holding it, not holding it. I don't know what this is, but I need to get rid of it or something. I don't know. The next day I had to call in the big guns. If you haven't seen any of our other haunted videos, we've got my friend Les, who's a ghost hunter, and Danny. Danny happens to own a possessed doll. That's his only qualification. Hey, there he is. Welcome back. Dude, it's happening again? <laughs> Once again. Get on in here. All right. Time to work. Yeah. Danny. Oh, Bobby. Tell me you didn't bring the doll. <gasps> I agree. Thank you for not bringing no, the doll. No, no doll. So I know we've been through this like a million times before, but uh, tell everybody what these do. All right, well, these are EMF meters, electromagnetic field meters. And what they do is they basically- uh, Okay, so they basically find ghosts. All right, thank you. So, hey guys, yeah? this is what I found upstairs in the storage cubby hole. What is that? Well, I don't know, but what I do know is we've never figured out why the house has been haunted or why any of this is happening. And finding this, pretty good reason. It's kind of weird. It is a little well, we're gonna test it. So the other thing that's been happening is this. This bell, made for the dogs, has been just jingling itself. We're gonna test that as well. You sure it's not the wind? Or the dog? She does it too, but not when she's in her cage. There's your problem. Yeah. I'll show you the footage. It's crazy. I wanna see it. Okay, this is uh, electronic totem test number one. What the? Dude. Right no off the way. bat. What? Do it again. What? No. Wait. That explains a lot. Uh, let's test the bells. All right, give it a shot. What? No. Yep. <laughs> called it. We called it. It's been doing that for I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What is happening? Oh my God! Fire! Oh my God, dude! <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, guys, look at the. Look at the bells, they're floating. 